Welcome back to another video. This is educational code for this round 154. We're going to solve the first problem that is called as prime deletion. So let's see what the problem states. So before that, uh, I hope everyone knows what's a prime number. A prime number is like a positive integer where uh, the only devices are one and itself. So for example, 3, 13, 1, 0, 1, all are prime numbers. So what they are telling is we will be given the input as a string. Uh, it's like a number consisting of like 1 to 9 and uh, every number will contain exa will come exactly once here so it can be like 9876543 or 12345689 or it can be any arrangement of 1 to 9 numbers now they are uh, giving us a rule like uh, you can perform uh, operation uh, 0 or any number of times out of the string and uh, the operation is like you can delete some numbers from it uh, 0 times also you can delete and report the number that is prime that is formed and uh, if the after deletion if there are only two numbers you can't uh, delete further two is the minimum number that you should maintain now uh, what is our goal our goal is to obtain uh, any prime number uh, by performing the operation and uh, also if it is not possible you just have to uh, report that it is impossible to perform the operations so uh, let's see for an example here what is that example so if it is all our arrangement of one to nine numbers and uh, every number will contain exactly once that's all we know so here they took one six seven and all the numbers they deleted so one six seven is a prime number here they took they deleted all the numbers and retained only five and three order should be retained okay you cannot write as three five like that so here also they took three five seven one that is also a prime number here what five seven six three 8429 so that is also a prime number they removed all the some elements between any number we can report so what do we think first we think that okay let's generate all the subsequences like starting from two digit three digit four any all the number of subsequences and send it to the prime function if the prime function returns yes then you print uh, that number here that is one method can we reduce this further uh, so so we generate all subsequences and uh, go for prime or not so you can just tell whether it will pass or not there are only nine digits and the primes uh, function is also there now uh, can we reduce further is the question so if we want to reduce further we see that we observed that uh, there are these are the numbers that are having uh, these are some numbers like two digit numbers that are having that are prime numbers so is 11 a valid uh, prime number it is valid but according to this question one cannot occur more than once so 11 is not a valid number correct so rest are all are valid so since uh, the numbers will always will be an arrangement of 1 to 9 what we'll do instead of uh, taking all the subsequences we'll take only two subsequences these two numbers should definitely exist in the array right so like 9 and 7 can come or 7 and 9 any number can come 3 and 7 can come 7 and 3 can come any anything so what we do instead of taking all subsequences we'll take a subsequences of two and send it to the prime function so if the prime function uh, says that it's yes uh, it's a prime number then we'll print it that is another method now or can we reduce it further we can still reduce it so by observation we see that if you see 31 and 13 so there are some numbers a number 3 is coming and 1 is coming there are some numbers 1 is coming and 3 is coming like 9 numbers are there similarly 7 some numbers can come 3 can come 3 and 7 in any case you take this is possible right 31 is possible or 13 is possible two numbers are not joined together either 3 and 1 can come or 1 and 3 can come only order matters 7 and 3 can come 3 and 7 can come or 9 and 7 can come 7 and 9 can come so what do we do we will assume only one string here so let me assume that uh, 13 is also possible 13 is also a prime number now what do I do? In all, I'll iterate through all the 9 characters. Any 9 characters are there. If I check the string 1, I'll take the character t here. That is, t will be 1. And if I get uh, 3 again, I'll append the character to the string t. Then 13 will be the answer. In any string, 13 or 31 will definitely come. Or 17 or 71 can come. Or 97 or 79 uh, can come. Sorry, that is 73. Uh, 71 not 71 or 78 is 73 or 37 can come 71 and 17 is also valid so here what did we do we took any one of those numbers and checked whether these uh, numbers are coming or not then after appending this number the only problem now is either I need to get 13 or 31 how do I get that I just append those characters in the string if the characters are there then I'll directly print it 
so that's all uh, so this is more on observation but if you do that brute force method also you can just try out whether it will work so that's all and this is the solution you can refer it and uh, see you in the next video